Hey guys, I'm um, Dimension Jumpers, and today I'll be reviewing The Witcher Season 3 Volume 1, which was released back on the 29th of June of this year. Now, the main plot, I would say, of this of this first half of this season is that uh, Geralt, Yennefer, and Ciri are, are basically travelling, um, because after the events of Season 2, towards the end of that, um, uh, Pretty much every, a lot of, oh, pretty much everyone on the continent knows about Ciri. Pretty much in terms of that she's got elder blood, and that she can, she's she's very important. Uh, I think that I think that's what I'm trying to say, and everyone is kind of trying to get her, and you can see that with like uh, the white flame. Um, some of the elves that we saw in season two, and just and just the, a variety of people who, who who know about Siri now and are trying to use her for their own nefarious purposes, and yeah, this is an interesting scene because this takes place as before, uh, roughly of I would say, at best a month and a half to two months, give or take. Um, since the events of season two, because with season one and two, they kind of they kind of were back to back in terms of when season one finished and season two started, that kind of thing, and yeah, and, and season three takes place I would say month and a half to two months, give or take, after the events of season two, and it has some nice elements to it. I do enjoy. Um, some of the monster fighting and some of the character interactions um, here and there, like with uh, Guild and Yaski, I think that's nice. In the, the, those characters have nice, some nice interactions here and there, and the monsters are f are fine, I guess. We only really get to see about three and a half, um, which I'll get into a bit later on, um, but they're fine. I I think I do enjoy. Uh, two of the monsters, one or one or two of them, um, the, the, that were shown in the in this um, in this half of the season, and yeah, and yeah, and I think one of the things that is kind of was kind of mad to me was um, in the first episode where um, we see both Jennifer and Skelt kind of talking to each other via notes and that i i guess that was fine i'm not because like it was okay i guess because like at the end of season two or towards i would think halfway between season two towards the end um yennefer did betray um Geralt, so i kind of see where um the start of season three was going where like both um Geralt and yennefer were trying to um, sort of earn each other's earn each other's trust again, so I kind of see where that part of the episode was going towards, and it's I think they just make up that I think they just treat each other again, pretty much since towards the end of episode one onwards. I feel like I feel like that's where the that's how I feel like this the whole thing went and. By the end of episode one onwards, they kind of trust each other again, and it's meh, it's okay, it's, it's okay, I guess, it's, uh, I, I don't know, and, yeah, and then, with with the whole, and then when it, when it comes to, like, other characters, we do get to see how those, those characters are interacting with each other, and how they are thinking of how to find Siri, and how they, how, how she can help them in their cause or something like that. So, for instance, um, with the elves that we saw in season two, um, th I think one of the leaders or the the main leader of the elves, um, she wants Siri to to be another leader or another like a sort of reincarnation or something like that of a previous elf that did. Uh, I don't know how much I remember, but like there was this sort of war battle thing 
and it took place in these like ancient ruins that we that we get to see in episode one or two, and and I thought um, oh those 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 ruins are probably going to be used sometime probably towards the end of the season, but it ended up taking place in that particular episode where we where we, where we got to see the runes. And yeah, it's, it's obviously a nice set piece to have a fight. And I think it could have gone a lot better. I think, well, there are some nice things to it. Like, I do like how all the characters fight using, like, you know, their magic, their swords, their bows, that kind of thing. And I don't, I don't know. I think I was just half expecting a bit more, like, flash and just... Like, a bit more... I, I don't know. I, th- I think it's just one of those things. They're like, oh, there's going to be a, an awesome battle here. And it's just like, oh, it's, it's, an, it's an okay fight, I guess. And... Yeah, and then you've got uh, the the White Flame, who is Siri's dad, who wants to um, get Siri again so she can stay by his side. And yeah, it's okay, I guess. I think his motivations are... All right, I guess, and yeah, and he does enlist, um, or he does get the um, the main horseman guy from season one to help him. So that's so that's, so that's quite nice. And for the monsters, that as I said before, we get to see about three and a half of them. So the first one, one of the first monsters we see, is this giant sort of insect-looking monster thing and it's okay it's basically this monster that can track people people by scent or something uh whether it's like a bit of hair um clothing or whatever like whatever you have that has someone's scent on it that monster can um find them and it's interesting that's an interesting concept it's a concept because like the, how do you use the monster that can track scent and how do you fight it, that kind of thing. And it's really interesting. Another monster we get to see is uh, this sort of water creature. And it's like, again, it's okay. It's, I think it's it's fine. It's like this fish-like monster that's... It's, it's, it's fine. Um, but I think one of the worst... I think one of the biggest letdowns in terms of the monsters is a is a, is, a, is a werewolf because um Geralt goes to um goes to a friend of his who can help who who can help him and then try and enchant this girl he finds um because she's been bewitched to believe that she's Siri and 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 the friend and one of the people that's with um the person that Geralt is looking for is a werewolf and he says oh I've got this chain thing, this this jewel thing that can um, stop me from transforming into a werewolf if I keep it on myself. And again, that's a really awesome setup, like, oh, there's something's going to happen, he's going to become a werewolf. It kind of happens, but then it's over as soon as it's, as it's begun, because he never turns into a werewolf. He kind of, you kind of see him transform, like, his arms, I believe, grow. And that's quite that's quite cool and interesting, but he never actually becomes a full on werewolf. And maybe from the remaining few episodes that we see, maybe he'll become a werewolf. Maybe not. But it's kind of like why put something in there without actually doing doing a quite cool payoff? That's that sort of thing and. Yeah, it would have it would have been it would have been cool to see a werewolf on screen, something like that. And I would say, out of all the monsters, the most m- memorable one is this sort of human fusion monster. I don't know what it's called, but it's like this, basically these giant, they, not giant, um, these human. They, well, it's a giant. It's a giant monster, but um, it's it's basically these human bodies that are sort of fused to each other and. That sound is like I think it's horrifying because you see all these human bodies just crawling around, um, and I think 
because of what they look what it looks like is quite terrifying and if, if you saw something like that in real life I would say people would probably run in fear because of it and I would say out of all the monsters that we've seen so far in terms of season 3 that has to be the most memorable one out of all the monsters that I've that, that have been seen in season 3 so far and yeah I would say season 3 it's okay I, I do enjoy some of the elements to it like I do like um, Geralt's sort of transition like from being f kind of like from a uh, sort of person who's known for having no emotions to, to kind of having some emotions because if you had Geralt from season one in season three he probably wouldn't care a, a lot about some of the situations that would have would have happened maybe I'm not percent sure but yeah, you could, but you can clearly see that season one guilt is completely different from uh, season three guilt, and that's quite cool and interesting. And yeah, I think that's a nice element to it. So that's been my review for uh, volume one of uh, season three of The Witcher. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.